Hey guys, welcome to Wait a Minute. My videos, my thoughts, and I am sharing them with you. I gotta drive, so I need some glasses. It's getting dark outside-ish. And it might get dark while we're talking because you know how the sun goes down and the light goes away really fast. Anyways, hey, um, don't forget that we have a YouTube channel now. And um, I try to put the link on every video if I can, but if I don't, um, yeah, I don't have it memorized, so you just have to wait. It is in the, it is in the, um, if you go backwards, it's like uh, the last video or the last thing I posted, whatever. Anyways, hey, um, welcome Sunday. Wow. Um, this video will We're actually, all set. Let's this, go. this video will actually get so nice. posted Let's tomorrow, go. but hey, that's okay. Um, I, cause I posted the one from yesterday today, and blah, 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 blah. but there'll be a day when I can't make a video and that'll catch up. So anyway. Um, it's Sunday, and I'm feeling, feeling fine. Oh, I got something in my eye. <laughs> I'm feeling fine, but I got something in my eye. Oh. My grandma used to always say, I got some, I would say, I got something in my eye, and she says, it's your finger. And that always used to make me so mad, because my eyes, like, really bother me, and went, I got something in my eye. It's your finger. I see what the problem is. You got your finger in your eye. <laughs> Oh, you guys, if you'd ever met my grandma, that was she was such a cool old lady. She was old when I was born. Um, she died. She, I was 17. She was 83 when she died. And um, so weird. So weird. Anyway, hey. Uh, so much to say and no time to say it. And I got this weird mouth. Mm. It's a good day. It's a good day. I want to tell you about um, determination and choosing choices. Um, in, in my life, I'm just telling you something personally that's going on today. I got up early this morning. I've been waking up early for like a while now. Woke up really early this morning. Tried to stay in bed as long as I could. Finally, I just got up because I wasn't going back to sleep. Anyway, so hey. Bleh. So I get up. I open my blinds because it's starting to get daylight outside and it's snowing. And it's beautiful. I mean, it, truly. I have a big bay window and um, most of my room is that big bay window. And... I just look out that window and I see all the snow come down and nobody's messed it up yet. It's just beautiful, you know? And I watched it for probably two hours um, and it never let up. I mean, it, you know, it was lighter at times and heavier at times, that kind of thing, but it never let up. It was just beautiful continuously and it stayed that way. You know, um, it just kept steadily snowing. Well, anyway, I said all that to say this. I, um, just for a starter of my day, I looked out that window and at first it was beautiful and I was just like so beautiful well first of all I got you, I got to tell the first part the first part is I woke up early I'm laying in bed I didn't get up or anything I was just laying there well then it was time to um, get up and I felt pain I am having like I don't know why but like normally the pain clinic takes care of the pain that I've got in my spine but for a week now probably I have severe pain and in the morning it's really bad because I haven't taken any Tylenol or you know done a heat pack or anything like that um but it was really this morning it was really bad when I started to sit up to get up I knew it was bad and so I just sat there and that's when I was watching the snow and the snow was beautiful and I was happy and I took some Tylenol while I was still in bed and yes I have Tylenol at the ready um so I took some Tylenol and I'm looking out the window and it's so beautiful and it's just, you know, yeah, it's nice. Well, somewhere in, in there, and I started journaling. Uh, I journal pretty much every day, but it just depends if I have anything to say. See, I make videos even when I don't have anything to say, but when I journal, I have to have something to say. Oh, <laughs> uh, just kidding, mostly. Um, so I was watching and waiting and realizing kind of like a dreariness or a, you know, because it can be dreary watching the snow because, you know, some people hate snow. Well, I don't hate snow. It just there's times when it, I'm not ready for it or times when, you know, I, I want it to let up now. It's been snowing all, all morning. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't really that I wanted it to go away or anything. I just started feeling it just, it was gloomy. I was gloomy. Things start getting gloomy. I'm starting to feel gloomy. And you know what? I, I caught myself. And it's I don't always do this. In fact, most of the time I don't. But I caught myself. And I'm like, don't go there. Don't 
even let darkness take over your light. No freaking way. So I said, you know what? I am so happy and I feel so good. Um, not talking about the pain in my neck or my back, spine, whatever. Um, talking about I, I, you know, all this crap, all this stuff. I'm over it. I, I feel good. I'm healthy. I'm, I'm getting through life and I'm, I'm enjoying it. You know, it's not just getting through. I'm, I'm enjoying it. I'm not just existing. I'm living. And I love it. I mean, do. Uh, doesn't mean that all this crap isn't bothering me because it is. But I try not to put too much stock or too much focus on the crappy things, and I try to focus on the, the good stuff. And I'm doing better at it than I've ever done in my life. So that's what I did. I'm looking at the snow, and then I started bringing my focus back, like jerk it back, you know, kind of jerk your head, blah, 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 you know, that kind of thing. So do that, and all of a sudden, it's just a little bit brighter, and the snow is just a little bit prettier. And just because I looked at it a different way. I looked at it like I did when I first woke up. And all of a sudden, you know, the darkness and, and depression and sadness kind of creeped away. Well, not creeped away. It went away almost immediately when it chose. But um, it had creeped up and then it went away like in a hurry because I decided. I decided. So I'm not saying, you know, if you got clinical depression, I totally understand. If you got PTSD or one of those little things, I totally understand because I have some of those. Um, I have issues. But so I get it. You know, that you can't just get over some of the things that are going on. But a lot of people focus on the bad things, and that's all they ever think about. You know, I, I've talked to people before, online and elsewhere, who are like, oh, uh, so, the, and they'll tell me the whole thing, and it's fine. I understand, and I, I want to hear it, and I, I understand, I do. And um, I'm honored to be able to talk to people when they're down. But some people want to stay down. I talk to them, they tell me this, this big story, and it's really sad, and it's really rough. And then I talk to them about it, and I encourage them, and I lift them up, and we, and they agree with me, and we're, we're all good, and like so we need to you know focus on the good stuff, and then, and yep, you're right, you're right, I feel I totally feel that, and then at the very end they're like, but man that sucks, and then they turn right around and start focusing on the bad thing again, and all that talking was for nothing, all that breath I wasted, um, so it's it, you know it's it's kind of you know what what are you. What are you doing? You know, what is what is your focus? Well, my focus is I want to focus on positive things. I want to focus on doing things and the people that I'm with. And um, you know, it's not always a, a you know a party when I'm with somebody. I, um, I was with somebody recently, and part of that time we spent crying. You know, I mean, there's there's sadness and there's tough times, and um, I get that. I do, and there's no no getting around it. Sometimes are just really tough, and. You just gotta admit it's a tough time, and the things around you suck. But then again, my parents are still living. I get to spend time with them. I did lose my house, but I moved in with my parents, and then all of a sudden they needed me, and I became one of their caregivers, 24/7. You know, it's kind of cool because I don't have to worry about them being taken care of by somebody else or being there alone because I'm there almost all the time. Um, yes, I make the videos in the car, so obviously I'm going somewhere, but. Um, for the most part, I'm there all the time. I'm there every night, all night, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, out of the bad things came good things, you know what I mean? And um, my boys went and started their own lives and they kind of pushed them out. And um, I mean, it wasn't me pushing them out necessarily, but um, well, there was a little bit there too. Um, just the way it happened and everybody went their own way and you know, we all got a start, fresh start. And I think good things are happening for all of us. And I think good things will happen when you focus on the good things. You know what I mean? The more you, the more you focus on a good thing, the more things you'll see that are good. The more you focus on the good things, the more you'll see things that are good. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I, but today I did that. Today, when I was journaling, I was thinking about good stuff, and I started writing about it, and then all of a sudden, more good things just started flooding in, flooding in, flooding in. It's pretty cool. So. You know, just, just some principles for life. Hey, guys, I love you. I pray for you. Um, God loves you more than I do, and that's saying something. You guys take care. And, um, you know, when the roads are bad, even when they're not, be careful. Um, love each other. And I'm always here. If you need to talk, hit me up. Okay? See you. Bye.